chronic masturbation part four. Why are there four parts to this, you ask? Because I was chatting with a friend today. He's also my driver. I sound so posh when I say I have a driver. But really, it's a service that Medicaid provides because I'm poor and disabled. So, yay, go me. But this driver is also has become a friend of mine. She's awesome. And I was telling her about chronic masturbation, part one. And then part two, about that guy cyber stalking me and telling me that he can't work because he's a chronic masturbator. Come on, that's funny, that, that's why there's a part two. And then part three, because now he's growing boobs. Come on, that's funny. And so I'm talking to her and I'm like, I'm saying stuff that I'm saying to him and sometimes I forget how loud I am. I'm loud and obnoxious. I'm, I'm not deaf. I'm not European. They're not always loud, they're just blunt. I'm blunt. I'm just loud. So I'm talking to her, saying the things I said to him like, so you're a chronic masturbator. Right then as the van door was open, and a really hot guy walked by. Yeah, that wasn't awkward at all for her. Yeah, she wasn't at all mad at me for that. <laughs> that, that was funny. Come on. So I told her I was going to have to make a part four for that. She's like, why does there need to be four parts? And I was like, um, one, part one, because I wondered if I had a problem. Because I don't have work or school or responsibilities for it to get in the way of. So I don't know if I have a problem. There had to be a part two because someone cyber stalked me and told me that he couldn't work because of it. That's funny. There had to be a part three because he, now he's growing boobs. Come on, that that's hilarious. And when I said he can't grow past his C cup because I didn't want him bigger than me, that's not to say I'm a C. No, I'm, I'm a triple D. But he might want to start being concerned if he grows past a C cup. Unless he's like already really fat and he might already be a C cup. Remember that one Seinfeld episode when they invented the bro? Yeah. Men could wear bras, like sports bras. Yeah. Friday night, girls night out. It means it's finally time for me to take off my bra. Oh. That was, that was, that was beautiful. It was, I don't even wear it that much anymore. Cause it's like, I never go anywhere, but I had two doctor's appointments today. The first appointment, my blood pressure was 126 over 87. And the second appointment, it was 117 over 87. So I mean, either way, my blood pressure is very good, but somehow it was, I was more relaxed after I ate lunch. Hmm, that helps. Anyway, chronic masturbation part four. I totally embarrassed my friend in front of a hot guy by calling her a chronic masturbator. Okay, what were the odds of her seeing him again anyway? And she has a boyfriend, so it doesn't really matter, but it's still funny. And I suppose I embarrassed myself in front of him too, but I don't really have that mechanism that says you're embarrassed and you should stop. I'm so ridiculously awkward all the time that stuff that would make other people crawl in a black hole doesn't even crack my top 10 of the day. I am just that ridiculously awkward all the time. Tune in. Hopefully we're done with the chronic masturbation series, but you never know. Somebody might make a comment or cyberstalk me or I don't know. We'll see. But this was chronic masturbation part four.